Alright, say yo, yo, say yo, yo, say yo, yo, say yo, yo, say yo. I today decided that today is the day I'm going to give come to us the ultimatum. Give me my nap four that I want or else I'm going free to play for two months. Completely free to play for two months. If I don't get in that four, I want. So here we go. Just do one scroll. Let's see what we got for this uh, thingamajiggy. That's good. That's really good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Can't complain. Can't complain. I can't complain. All I want is a Malia. I just I just want a Malia. That's it. I don't I don't want nothing else. Just just give me my one. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Thirty four, and not one Malia. Not one. You know what I get instead when I look for thirty? When I look for uh, when I'm looking for uh, what's the thing called again? Nat four Malia. I'm getting nat fives, man. I know y'all out there saying. Oh, you should be happy. Should I? Should I really be? You all know my struggles. You all know my struggles. What do we get? We're gonna get one pack for 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 uh for a new day. And then we're done. We're done. We're done. We we we're not gonna spend they they gotta give me my nap fours. They gotta give me my nat fours. It's a nat four. Ooh, ooh. If only I had the mana for it, right? If only I had the mana for it. Oh, uh, what are we gonna summon? And what chat? What should be our official chat? I'm looking for two o two. You know they always say uh, English one on one. Well, two o two should be one above everything else. So. 202 should be it. If you have a better idea for what our channel should be, let me know in the comment section. They won't give me Malia. They won't give me Malia. All right, so we need some space. They won't give me Malia. Look what, they, look what I got. There's a Leo. There's a Poseidon. People have been begging for Sierra. I have a Sierra. I'd rather a Malia. Uh, I even got a win. I even went and got another a cold girl. Look, I got two now. I got a Rika and a Charlotte. There's the Lucian. Cute. Tessar, everybody else. Oh, I got the twins. I got some twins. And if you're new to the series, don't get baited by new units and start building units right away. Like, the twins was only built in order to do the twin event in order for me to get more crystals. So don't think I just built the twins just to, you know, I got twins, yay. The rest of these nat that you see or the things that you see in this is because on the new beginner account, you get double the XP plus your XP booster, which gives you a lot of XP. So I try to max out as many things as possible because I know afterwards I'm going back to being a peasant. So... Be wise with what you have. Don't go out there and just make things because you have them. Find out what their play is for. If I decide to do uh, dragons, that's why my Varad is there. You know, I could do Varad and everything else, but I need a really good dragons B12 team, folks. I really do. I really and truly need a, back, a dragons B12 team. And Malia was going to fit perfectly. It was going to be Malia, Rika. I was going to, um, of course, two-way uh, salt. As soon as my dungeon um, refill come up into play. And it was going to be beautiful. I was going to be farming B12. But they have thrown a monkey wrench into everything. Of course, uh, Shaman had to be done because we need to start also doing some riff, some riff dungeons, right? We're going to have to start doing some riff dungeon. So we definitely need to start doing some shaman. It's just just a greater just a greater uh 
you got to think futuristic also. You know what I'm saying? Once you're doing your thing, think futuristic. So if you're new to Summoner's War and you're trying to figure out what's the best thing to do, use your XP when you first come into the game wisely by trying to make as much six star as possible. And also don't waste your time doing things that's not going to help you progress. Just because somebody uses it on their YouTube stream does not mean that it's going to be beneficial to you. Find your team comp first, and then you're good to go. So let's do some of the, uh, did we put enough in the storage? Sure didn't. I'm here talking for no reason. In fact, let's do this. I'm no longer um, leveling up uh, Mons. Because when you farm, you're going to get so many rainbow mons that these fodders is going to be perfect. I don't have to do nothing but just get rainbow mons. And that just come from just me summoning all the time. So let's get to 20 and we should be good to go. All we're looking for is Malia. We don't want no five stars. We just want Malia. Or water... Elven Ranger. Because if we don't have Malia, we could do wonders with Water Elven Ranger. I think my coach Skogul is fully skilled up, so I don't need no more Skogul skill up. All these things are good. My Belliger is not getting the skills where I want him to get them, so I'm wasting Devil Bonds in my Belliger right now, and we are SOL. Can we get a Malia? <sighs> Is this one of the ones that got buffed to be something good? Okay, attack all enemies. Each attack have 25% chance of stunning for one turn. The damage increased by 30% per continuous damage granted on the enemy, and the damage increased by 50%. Additionally, if the enemy is under inability effect. Attack the enemy and remove all beneficial effect granted on the target with 75% chance and inflict continuous damage for two turns with 75% chance. Can we work him in our uh, Giants B12 team? Let me know in the comment section. I really do need a new, uh, you know, because Tattoo could blow up the continuous damage and this right here will do more damage if they already have continuous damage on them, right? But is it worth it? Is it worth it? Damage granted, uh, the damage increased by 30% per continuous damage granted on the enemy. And the damage increased additionally 50% additionally if the enemy is on an inability effect. So this is a despair. You got to ruin him under despair. But they only have one AO, AOE. The Giants on an inability effect was slow and stuff like that. So he could do a lot more damage. So he could be a one-shotter to the Dragons, right? Into the Giants, right? He could be a one-shotter. So if Tattoo and Malia, if I ever get them, put enough dots on the Giants, his third skill should be able to one-shot, right? Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. I'm going to do some research. But we might have to just build one wacky team and just see how it works. Because right now, the game really hates me getting a stinking NAV4. I don't know why it hates me getting this NAV4, but I just want a NAV4. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's raise summon. Let's do one raise summon. Let's do one raise summon and see how that works out for us. I will go ahead and save the cast in case I ever get a Mio. What else should I save? I've been saving my Inagami because I've been getting a lot of those. We have the Werebear, BJR5, right? So we got Jensen. We have uh, Belliger already uh, wherever Belliger is hiding. There we go. We got Belliger. Not bad on the damage for something that's not fully skilled up, right? Like the runes are not even max. Like the, none of the runes are max. So not bad on the damage. Once the runes are max, we should have enough damage to where we could do uh we could do um BJR4 at least, right? 
and then we just gotta do some um artifacts and we should be good so i'm okay with uh i think we can start doing bjr4 at least in the next two days in fact we're gonna start running bjr4 for sure in the next two days so come hello high water we're running bjr4 we just gotta farm enough uh mana to actually scale them up uh i think my skogel is fully maxed out no well, we do have some skull go skill up, so he will be fully maxed out. Um, should I build a skull? See, I don't want to build too many things without being. Re I just need to remain focused. Is skull go good enough for giants? No. A bunch of skull goals? Yes. One skull goal? No. So that's not going to help me none. So I'm gonna need something that could definitely help me out, and I need to build a team. I need. I need your help. Let me know what a good team will be to do Giants B12. Look at my monster box. Look at it. What will be a good team for Giants B12? But once we start farming that, we could definitely start ruining up everything. And then within 21 days on the account, less than 30 days of the account, we should be able to get the G1, right? We should be able to get the G1 because we got all the power units. We just need runes for them. We got the Sierra. We got the uh, Lucian. Lucian will get us up to the top level. And then Sierra, Leo, Poseidon, and uh, Savannah should get us the G1 within 30 days. So that's the plan. That's the thing. That's the update on the account. I uh, know it's not that much. It's not that much. You'd rather be show me showcasing my team. Right now, I'm doing because of Void. He told me to do Giants B11 because that is giving me a. He said it did real good for him in drops. It's been doing decent for me starting today. It's been doing decent for me. Uh, reality is the runs is not stable, so I'm gonna have to reroom certain things quickly. I'm no longer keeping five star rooms. I don't care how they look. I'm no longer keeping five star rooms. I'm being rune bougie, which means that if it ain't six star and helpful, I am not whatsoever dealing with it. Nope. If I'm gonna start this account right, you have to start right. You can't start on a downward path and hope to correct it in the future. I'm going to start it right with the room selection right off the bat. I want to make sure my room selection is great off the bat. By doing that, I, I avoid future instance where my room selection is sketchy and I got to go and sell rooms and never get the value back because I took too much mana to upgrade it and I'm not getting it back when I sell it. So that is... Fran, ah, Fran, oh, Fran, oh, Fran. Fran, oh, Fran, oh, Fran. But this is, this is 11. I want something, I, I really want a stable 12. That way I could just run all day and not worry about nothing whatsoever. Savannah is going to take care of it because once she get dismounted, she does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Not slow. 120. See, and this is why I don't want to run uh, anything besides 12. Because legendary runes, that's not going to help me none. And getting a whole bunch of legendary five-star runes is... I have sold all my legendary five-star runes. So, as I said before, if you have any idea based on my monster box what I should actually go with, let me know. But the BJ12, uh, not the BJ, but the BJR4 team is coming in two days, and the 12, I'm going to work my ass off tonight to make sure that I have a stable uh, Dragons B12 team. So until the next one, thank y'all for watching. Bye.